Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at an Echo CS271 top handle chainsaw. Customer brought it in and said that he's got a big tree project coming up and he wanted us to look it over. Well, when someone wants me to look their saw over, no matter what the uh, complaint is, I always look in the fuel tank first. So here we are. Uh, fuel smells okay I guess putting the cap back on what do we got in the bar oil tank hmm <coughs> doesn't look right maybe we better get a mason jar and pour it out and see what's in there That looks really thin, doesn't it? And it smells like gasoline. So, I'm thinking the guy uh, realized he made a mistake when he started fueling this thing up. And wasn't sure how to deal with it. But there's some other treats inside the tank here. Let's take a look. What are we fishing for? Oh yeah, one of those uh, fuel cap retaining straps, an old one, landed in the tank I guess. So the inside of that tank doesn't look very good. We're going to flush it out a little bit. Not with that can, though. It looks like whatever was in there that was bothering me is out now, so... What's next? We'll put some bar oil in it. You know, sometimes uh, a repair isn't always uh, a repair. You know, are we really fixing anything on this one or are we just uh, doing a little bit of maintenance? Back in the gas tank, huh? Now what are we going to do? Now that we saw that that bar oil was contaminated with fuel, we're just going to double check that fuel. That looks good, so... I don't know. Maybe the guy just got nervous. Couldn't remember if he put oil in the gas tank. I, I don't know. Maybe the thing doesn't run right. And he uh, assumed he screwed something up. So we'll just keep moving forward on this. and Look at all the basics and see if it'll run. Let's get a new fuel filter on here. You know, these little top handle saws are kind of nice, except that these, you know, the filler hole for the gas and the oil, they're kind of small can make filling these things up a little tricky. That air filter isn't very pretty. Let's 
Let's pop that spark plug out and see what it looks like. Pretty rich. Maybe he's been running bar oil in a gas tank. Who knows? Well, we looked in the cylinder and everything was pretty. We're going to put a new spark plug in here. Well, now what? I'm thinking that fuel filter, the way it was glazed over like that, may have been part of his problem if he had tried to start this thing and it wasn't running for him. Um, you know, this was one of them deals where the guy kind of was already whining about the cost of a repair before... Or at the time he dropped it off. So we're just kind of doing a quickie once over on this thing. And if it runs, we're going to send it. And now that we got our own fresh fuel in there, we'll prime it up and see if it's going to run for him or not. I mean, there was a little puff of smoke there. So that's it, it runs. You know, we uh, got that contaminated bar oil out of there. And Put a new fuel filter in it. We're gonna put an air filter on it. He says he sharpens his old chain, so we're gonna leave it at that. That's all I got for you on the Echo CS 271 top panel chainsaw repair. Thanks for watching. Later.